a short video about STS4 quick symbol uh, navigation feature. Uh, we're going to show this feature first in, the, in VS Code and then switch to Eclipse. So suppose in VS Code we'd like to look for owner's uh, request mapping definition. So we have to activate our uh, quick symbol navigation feature and we have to go to this Go menu and click on Go to Symbol Workspace. There is also a shortcut for it. Uh, it shows us the list of uh, all symbols in workspace. If you type at, it has to be only spring symbols. So this list is uh, full of various spring symbols such as spring annotations, request mappings, beans. So if we type at plus, we're going to see only beans. If we type at slash, we're going to see all the request mappings. And if we start typing further, we're going to narrow down this list to something more meaningful. So this is the owner's uh, request mapping. So as you can see, each entry in the list is a request mapping path, then the request mapping type and the resource where it's defined. So if we click on it, it takes us right to the definition of this request mapping in the code. Uh, there are also uh, other things here in this uh, list, right, such as beans. So we can also look for any beans and if we click on it, it's, it has to take us to the place in the code where this bean is defined. So for example, all those properties is a component and it takes us right to, to its definition. So let's examine the same feature in Eclipse. So this is the STS4 Eclipse version. So the same feature can be activated by pressing Command 6, but it starts with uh, symbols in the, in the currently opened uh, file. Uh, if you type Command 6 again, as it states down below, it's going to show you all the, all the workspace symbols, right? So let's try and look for some beans. For example, I want to find owner search service bean. So let's type at then plus to look at the beans and then owner search service. So this is it, right? So if we click on it, it's going to take us right to its definition, right? And the definition is here, right? It's uh, under this add bean annotation. Uh, we can also look uh, for other things like spring annotations, for example. We can type add component and look for all components in our code. Sorry, we had to press command six again to look at the workspace symbols. Right, so as you scroll down through the list, you could see that, for example, owner's controller is under add component. Right? If we click on it, there is no add component annotation anywhere near it. But controller annotation is meta annotated with the component annotation. So every controller is a component. Right? So as you can see, this is this inheritance, meta inheritance is uh, accounted for in the search, right? So as, you, uh, as, as you look at, uh, at the entry, it, sh it shows you in the summary the uh, little uh, well, in inheritance relationship between annotations that you see here. Um, we can also search, for example, for something that doesn't even have annotations. For example, bean pet repository, right? So if we open it up, there are no annotations, but STS4 tooling recognizes this uh, class as a, as a, as a bean uh, that's contributed by Spring Data. Um, there is also a little uh, uh, extra to uh, symbol navigation. You can also look at live request mappings if you type slash slash. So, but that that's only active if your application is running and there is a, an actuator uh, starter on it, right? So if you click on it, it's going to take you to the uh, URL in the browser. Uh, so this is it. This is a quick over overview of uh, quick symbol navigation feature in STS4. Thank you for watching.